Guys, welcome to the Kingfisher um, Trace Clinic once again. Today I'm going to show you how to do what I call the solid ring trace. We use it a lot for catching tuna, queenfish. It's something the Japanese have been using for years and we are only catching on to it now. Very simply, what we require is fluorocarbon, number four power swivel, pair of pliers, side cutters, um, tuna circle 6-0, a bit of uh, Dacron, cable tie, pair of mustard scissors, and of course, solid ring. Okay, this is size five. Just gonna take them out quickly. Just make life easier for me. Give me one of my tuna circles. Tuna circle. You can also use J hooks, which is very nice. And I'll show you the J hook one afterwards as well. Okay. Bit of fluorocarbon, about a meter in length. All I'm going to do to start this off is take the power swivel, so that's a size 4 power swivel, tie a figure of 8, one, two, three times around my finger, it's very easy to do. It's just a normal figure of 8 guys, there's the figure of 8, it's now formed, just lubricate. The reason I use this FC fluorocarbon it's 100% fluorocarbon, first of all, so it goes totally invisible in water. It ties an extremely good knot. And yeah, the abrasive resistance on it is absolutely phenomenal. And as you know, um, you don't want to use wire when fishing for tuna or for queenies. Uh, yeah, that stuff is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. I'm just going to roll it up for a second. I'm going to make it about 1.2 meters in length. What I'm now going to do, I'm just going to move the stuff away. Stuff I haven't used and stuff I'm going to use. I take my tuna circle hook and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the eye of it. And how we do it, take a pair of side cutters, go at the back of the eye and we're just going to lightly maneuver it. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just opening the eye ever so slightly. It just has to be wide enough to fit that, sol uh, that solid ring in it. I'm just going to open a little bit more. It might be a little bit too short. And to give you an idea, this little solid ring here is 368 pounds to open that little solid ring. So you're never going to open it pulling on a tuna. Okay, 368 pounds. Okay, so we take that, we insert it where the eye is. Take our pliers and just give it a little bit of a pull. Oopsie, I dropped it. So all we do is we basically take that solid ring, insert it where the eye is, take our pliers, so it fits in like that. I then go to my vise and I just close it slightly in the vise. Okay, so all I've done is I've stuck it in the vise, I've closed the eye so you can see how it's closed up nicely. What that does is gives you a lot more rotation in your actual trace. So there's a lot more movement, rotation in it. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my FC fluorocarbon. This is 60 pounds, fishing for tuna. If I was fishing for queen fish, it would be a little bit lighter. It would be 50 pounds. And again, all I'm going to do, very simply, figure of eight. One, two, three times around. Back down and through. There's your figure of eight forming. Lubricate. Slide down. And like I said before, 
This FC fluorocarbon is absolutely brilliant stuff to work with. It ties a decent knot. Throw the tag in the way. Now just to make sure your knot is properly done, stick it into the eye of the swivel and give it a good pull. There we go. Okay, so instead of doing a snell, all we've done is inserted the actual solid ring. Now that gives so much more movement than actually snelling. So when the fish inhales your bait and tightens up, it doesn't matter which way you go. That solid ring always gets him in the side of the mouth. Fluorocarbon being very hard, sometimes pops out. Okay. So this definitely works a lot better than actually snelling your um, fluorocarbon to your circle look. Okay guys, so you can see a lot more movement. Fluorocarbon sometimes pops out of the fish's mouth and you duff quite a few fish. This way you don't duff at all. Okay, now what we do is we're going to bridle it. We're going to bridle our live bait. All we do is we take a bit of uh, Dacron, like so. We melt the one side. There we go. Lovely. <clears throat> we take our circle lock, insert it through the center, come back around. Sorry, I didn't get that one. And come back around, through it again. So you've gone through it twice over the eye of the hook. We then make it whatever length you want to do. If you want to make a long one like that, we go through it. If you want to keep it short, the way I like to do it, there we go. And again, all we do is we just go through it again for the second time. Slide it on, over, take our scissors, cut it off. And all of this you can actually do it home before you even go fishing. You don't have to do it out there on the boat or on the paddle ski. You can do all of this at home. Just melt this tag end. And the reason we melt it, if I did leave it, it would actually flare out and eventually it will come undone. So there it is there. So there's the bridle rig. There's the solid ring that gives you movement. And of course, our cable tie. Before you leave home, you're sitting there at the TV watching the Kingfisher Trace Clinic. You can sit and cut a whole lot of these. Okay, now how we rig our bait. We take our live mozzie. This one's pretty dead, unfortunately. Insert our cable tie through the eye like so, coming out the back of the eye, like that. And obviously we're going through the Dacron, guys, just to give you the movement part of it. Slide that on, cut it off, and there's all the movement that you want. So if you're going to trawl it, you can trawl your live mozzie like that, flapping around. Of course, the circle part of it, the solid ring, tuna inhales a bait, and that every single time is gonna set. It doesn't matter which way it goes, it always hooks. Okay, so that gives you all the movement you want for that circle look to actually sit in your tuna, queen fish, whatever fish species you're actually targeting that solid ring is just so much better than any other way that you can actually rig it. Okay, so there it is guys. In, you can trawl it. It is so simple guys. There we go.